Um, so I'm going to try to battle the Ben Feingold robot. This is my first attempt, and I'm going to hit record. I've not battled him yet. And uh, I love um, watching him and Karen do their commentary. I, um, Ben's obviously a, a great chess player, but he's hilarious. And his bot, I'm sure, is a perfectly cromulent bot. And if you're either Ben Feingold or a diehard Simpsons fan, you will get that joke. If you're none of those things, then you probably won't get that joke. But I was excited when chess.com released the Ben Feingold bot and uh, just haven't made my way to it. Um, I hate to sound negative, but I'm not expecting to win. Um, but I just want to see how well I can do against uh, the robot here. So, um, I will say that, uh, yeah, I really enjoy uh, when Ben and Karen get to talking about things and uh, I've seen where they've made commentary on a lot of live chess games that I've watched and I really enjoy it. Um, Ben's pretty quick-witted, that's for sure. Um, it's funny. That pawn in my territory is causing me trouble. screwed up. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I totally screwed that up. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, in this situation with the queens, you know, the ladies are off the board, as people say. Um, usually towards the end game, you try to get your king towards the center of the board anyway. So if I lose my right to castle or whatever, you know, it's all good. I got to get pieces developed. Yeah, I don't like having the double stack pawn there, but um, I was going to castle, but yeah, I was afraid that was coming. So, hmm. my bot is only allowed to roar three times a game maximum. Oh boy, remember my rule of fork, fork me, fork you, I'm about to be forked if I'm not careful. I'm probably going to lose the F3 pawn. So. <laughs> Tough bot, what's been, Ben's bot rated 2563? Yeah, that's tough. It's way beyond my skill level. Oh, I'd love to take the a7, but I realize my knight's going to be stuck there. I won't be able to escape. I'll just get captured. I'll take a pawn, but I'll lose my knight. This is a problem for me.
treating lotion, but yeah. Then the rook comes to a7, and you know, if I take that a7 pawn, it's a trap, basically. It's a trap. The a7 pawn was a trap. Um, In this situation, I just can't get my pieces working together. I feel like I'm getting my arse handed to me. And Ben hasn't even broke out his other pieces yet. down a piece, um, a minor piece, that was that little stunt I pulled, it, it got me, I fell for it, <laughs> I feel like my knight doesn't have a lot of options. I mean, if all else fails, see an open file with the major piece and just try to own it. I'll try to stop that knight from going to g4. You know, there's a fork. e3 would have been a fork. It's now Robit bin. Ben the robot has his minor pieces out. And my king is underneath the major piece. I do not like that. My king is underneath his rook there. Oh boy. Yeah, e3 square. He's got a knight and a bishop that own the e3 square, that are eyeing that e3 square. Honestly, I don't even know what to do. I need to get my pieces working together. I've just got them hodgepodged here and there. And that's my problem. Uh, yeah, my pieces are not working together. That, that's my problem. They're hodgepodged, if you will, just kind of here and there. Uh, Robot Ben is not allowing me to use my pieces together. Or rather, I just, I'm not strong enough to see how to put it together, I confess. I knew that getting into the spot, uh, yeah, and there now it finally made its way. <laughs> I can't retake that bishop. Ooh. I feel like doom is coming, my doom. Um, I don't know, stand up the rooks, I guess. I'm going to review this game afterwards. I hope you stick around to the review. We'll see what the numbers say. This is my first attempt at uh, playing the Ben Fine Gold robot. And I'll, 
I'll play it again. That knight, I'm afraid it's gonna come to g3. I could defend with my knight, but got my rook on a2. That maybe could save my hide from my opponent's rook dropping to a um, to, to uh, D, D2, sorry. My rook on A2 could help defend that square. Uh, this robot's doing a great job of using that, the pieces together. Push this pawn, maybe I. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, I can try that. <laughs> you know, but that night, I can defend. I can't. If I can get the rook on g1, I can swing the knight up there and fork because the knight can't retake. Or I mean, the pawn can't retake, but my knight's overworked. My knight is overworked because I have to defend that position there. Well, here it comes. I'm, I think this is the beginning of my doom. I, I can't. Oh no! I can't. I can't even do that. Oh my gosh! I'm just. Yeah, I am. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> this is a fun bot, but. Uh, Definitely get my arsh handed to me. Um. <laughs> ben says, tough crowd. That's funny. I've seen a lot of his videos where he says, truth hurts, truth hurts. That's it. Okay. Well, that was a fun bot. Um, you know, I figured it was, you know, uh, too strong for me, but it's fun to play. Let's see what it uh, says here. It says I played at 86.7%. That surprised me. I didn't think that I did that good. Ben played at 95.7, which I would expect at that ELO. Um, says we both played at 2300 but that doesn't seem right because it says I have one blunder and I'm pretty sure I already know where it is but we're gonna see it here I always try to review my games even if it's just quick like this just to give aha moments yeah right there uh, I'm not suggesting I would have won if I would have you know, avoid that uh, I'm surprised I only made one blunder, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Tough bot. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. That's a perfectly cromulent statement. I can say that. It's perfectly cromulent. Um, yeah, this is where the pieces being used together by my opponent are just phenomenal, really. Okay, great bot. I'll try 
to play them again. This was my first attempt. I'll uh, try it again and probably hit record on that on the rematch that I do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.